man. After a long day at work, coming home and seeing a huge box of comics is definitely a way to brighten the mood. So come kick it, let's break down the comics I got and uh, see what I'm reading for the week. What is up all you beautiful legends? I hope you guys are having a great week and happy Tuesday. Welcome to another unboxing from ABX, my online LCS, where I show off my new comics, but not just that, I break them down, I talk about the stories, I talk about why I'm enjoying them a little bit, and uh, hopefully you guys can take something away from me there. So I already got this box pre-cut, so we're gonna do the kind of magical box opening. Ah, you know, cue the angelic music. So let's get this out of the way. And uh, it's definitely a bigger snack this weekend. It always is, man. So a couple more little ABX comics and games, uh, wristbands, a uh, little, you know, whatever they're called. So throw those into giveaways and AOKs and stuff. So we'll just start, uh, we'll just start like that. And any comic I showed, if you like uh, stands, if you like showcasing your comics, make sure you check out the link in the description for a superior stand. Great friend of the channel and uh, definitely someone who uh, makes some great stands. So we're gonna start this right off the rip. This is Venomore issue number one. I only picked up issue number one just to check it out. I'm a big Venom guy, you guys know that. But uh, this is the Jonathan Tyler Christopher um, negative space cover. And we'll flash it over there. I need to hold my books right here. That's where we're gonna hold the book. So if you see it flash, cover of the week, but I don't know, there's a lot of good covers in this one. So that's something I'm not continuing on my poll list. I actually just did an actual mass exodus of my poll list and uh, this was one of them. Black Panther, issue number seven. I just read issue uh, five and six right before filming this. Uh, nothing wrong with it, it's good. The Contra War is picking up. Everything seems like it's going to be heating up, but uh, I just had to make a bunch of adjustments and uh, Ultimate Black Panther was not making the cut. So I'll throw that up on Whatnot on eBay or something, just sell it as a set just to get rid of it. Next up, book I am loving way more than I thought. This is Space Ghost, issue number four from Dynamite. Um, a lot of controversy around him with the AI stuff, but I uh, love the Francisco Mantina covers that he's been doing for these, crushing these covers, and uh, it's been very, very good. Uh, I watched Space Ghost Coast to Coast as a kid, so I didn't know really what to expect, but yeah, man, it's it's been very fun. Dark, gritty, and uh, it's kind of like a Saturday morning for me. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just kind of <laughs> organizing all these out of the way. Next, this cover's so dope. Miles Morales, uh, what are we on, 23? Yes, 23. So, series have been solid, but look at that cover, man. You have Vulture in the eyes for uh, Miles' kind of uh, face mask right there. I think that's phenomenal, and that's definitely a contender for cover of the week. Like I said, I go back into the editing and uh, check all these out. Um, oh, no, no. I was like, wait, did I already have this? No, I just haven't read issue number two. But issue number one was a uh, five out of five. That's kind of how I do my grading scale. I do uh, reviews on IG, so make sure you guys hit that description and follow me on IG if you want to see these comics broken down even more but this was a five out of five that's how i do my scale the first issue like i said falling what is it falling in the love on a path to hell man i, I fell a little bit behind i haven't done too much reading uh i was doing a lot of filming and stuff i got the channel loaded up with content so all this week going into next week you guys are going to see a ton of stuff so uh i need to catch up on reading but issue two issue number three should be phenomenal Speaking of another phenomenal uh, series, I'm glad I got this cover because I actually had uh, issue, I think it was issue 10 that had the other set of this, but this is the 1 in 10 for issue number 11, so it's the connecting variant. If you ain't reading Transformers, man, you're missing out. Uh, Energon Universe has been off the chains, but Transformers has been absolutely phenomenal. Danny Warren Johnson, Mike Spicer, and Jorge Corona are just crushing it on that book. <clears throat> Another book I really hope that picks up, but it's only $2.99, so you can't complain. Gunslinger. This is issue number 34, and I uh, really love this cover. It's a very simplistic cover with uh, Gunslinger in the background. It just needs to pick up, man. There's a lot of stalling going on in the Spawn stuff ever since Spawn 350, and he lost all his powers. So we'll see how things kind of turn up. Sorry, I'm just going to flip these all around. Speaking of Spawn, oh man, this cover's phenomenal. I forget who did it. Um, man, it's so dope with Spawn and... Uh, Redeemer on there. <sighs> look at that. That is fire. Let me get this out of the way. This definitely has a chance to be cover of the week. I mean, let me get real close on that. Sorry about the glare. There we go. I love that. That is absolute fire. I think it's cover B. Scorched. What are we on? Issue number 32. It's wild to think when these series started. I did not think they would be running for this long. Another one. Axed it. Cut it. I know it's only six issues. 
but I'm not going to keep reading it. This is Scarlet issue number three. I'll keep them because I collect the Energon universe, uh, and I have all the one and tens for Scarlet, so that's why I'm collecting. But man, it's just not for me. Uh, I'm not a big G.I. Joe fan, so or, or die. I haven't read a lot of G.I. Joe, so it doesn't really resonate with me like it should, so I'm out. <clears throat> Another book, I need to read issue number three, but this is from Scotty Young, and again, doing the artwork is Jorge Corona, Ain't No Grave, issue number four. This is six issues, but man, so much fun. Main character, she's dying, so she's trying to basically battle her way uh, to kill death and beat death. You watch Comic Tom, you watch the trending top, top ten, uh, this book was actually on there. Issue number one of High on Life. Uh, it's about a video game, it's from the creators of Rick and Morty, I know there's some uns... Uh, uh, unfortunate circumstances that came with them. I can't talk, man, all over the place. But uh, the comic's fun. The game's fun. So uh, I, I recommend checking it out. All the guns talk. It's wild. If you're a fan of Rick and Morty, it's, it's wild. Like I said, High on Life, issue number three. Issue number one had uh, Steve Buscemi in it. So what, do you, what can you say about that? I'm nervous to read this book, man. If Barney dies... Jeff Johns, I'm coming for you, bro. This is Geiger, issue number five. Uh, we left off with a big cliffhanger. Uh, Tariq was actually wounded pretty severely, and uh, Barney was hurt, and uh, he's bleeding out on this cover. So, man, I know it's going to be a heart, heart rush issue, but Geiger is firing on all cylinders. So we got two more in here. I'm going to burn through these so I don't take too much of your time. Almost dropped these. Do I have these on uh, the sticker, the hashtag sticker people board? Um, no, I just got the regular AVX. So this is a new AVX Comics and Games. Shout out to all the sticker people out there. So let's go a foily one. So I got to get that on the board. Always love to see that. So let's burn through these and because uh, I still got one more stack. Uh, Absolute Power issue number two. Only reading the main cover or main run. This is the Tyler Kirkham cover. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Tyler Kirkham smashed this. Absolute Power. It's been fun, but uh. I don't know, man. Event books just aren't for me. I don't want to read the tie-ins, and it really throws things off. Um, who was this? Uh, Gabriel Delato, that is right. Batman issue 151. Again, Batman's been solid. I'm going to read issue number one or two of Absolute Batman, but I'm pretty much just, just sticking with the Chips of Arsky. That's what I've been reading since the start, and we're going to keep reading it. Kaiju, you know it. I love it. Godzilla, IDW, Godzilla, There Be Dragons, Sons of Giants, issue number two. Kaiju and Kaiju. It's Pirates and uh, Godzilla, man. Continuation of the first one. I'm definitely curious to see how it dives more into the history of uh, the cult. The cult of Kaiju, I'm pretty sure. Pure cover by, uh, this was a reprint, but I got this from Lady Durst. She's a big Beetlejuice fan. So uh, this has potential to win cover of the week as well. And uh, it says, uh, I, th I forget, uh, House of Secrets issue... Uh, I forget, man. One of the House of Secrets, man. I'm so bad at older comics. It's Showtime at the House of Beetlejuice. So you know it, you love it. It's Beetlejuice, baby. Don't want to say his name one more time because you know what would happen. So we're going to pop that up right there and we're going to keep moving. Uh, Green Lantern issue number 14. It's been solid. I thought about dropping it a couple times, but each issue just hits, man. Uh, Jeremy Adams is doing great things. So uh, if you're not reading it, that and uh, Batman are like the two DC books I'm really continuing besides the Absolute Power. Oh man, this is fire in person. This might win cover of the week. Sorry, uh, this was one uh, probably my most excited to read, but this is uh, DC vs. Vampires, World War V, issue number one. You got that foily with Barbara Gordon on there, Batgirl. Love to see that. Let's see if we can get some nice foily action. There we go. But yeah, man, if you guys missed out on the first series, it was great. Uh, it was one of my favorite reads of, what, 2022, I think it came out? 2021, going into 2022, or ended at the end of 2022, I forget. But it was phenomenal. If you can check it out in trade, if you can find it in collecting, I highly recommend it. So this is probably one of my most anticipated reads. <sighs> Venom, man. What, what issue is this? 36. It's a cool cover. But again, this is kind of like my guilty pleasure comic. Uh, it's okay. I'm at the point now where I'm just going to continue it forever until, I don't know, we get to something new. But man, the time travel stuff, the Venomore stuff, it's just... It's just a lot of nonsense, but it's fun. It's a fun read every time. It's kind of like an, a summer action flick, I always tell people. So let's burn through. <sighs> this is fire, too. King Spawn, issue number 36 from the man, Kaibar. Met him at Heroes Kind, met him and his wife, Italian artists. They were phenomenal. I got to talk to him, chat it up. There's a video on their channel. I might 
flash it here or something. But uh, yeah, go back and check that out because they are awesome. But this is King Spawn. What are we on? 36. Another book. I didn't think that was going to go this far. Yeah, so dope. I love his art. All right. Some people's favorite segments. Uh, shout out to you if you're keeping track. But this is The Walking Dead Deluxe. We are now on issue 94. Entire short box full. Need to move on to another one. Issue 94, haven't read a single issue, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it when I can. So we're gonna wait till it's all wrapped up and then I'm gonna sit down and uh, we're, we're gonna do something with it. I wasn't gonna read this, I'm probably not gonna continue it. Uh, I'm probably just going to continue with the X-Men run itself, but this is the Uncanny X-Men issue number one. But after seeing this cover or uh, like a picture of this posted, I grabbed it. I'll check out the story, but like I said, we're not gonna see it. Let's see if I can really zoom in there. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, you're not going to be able to really zoom before it gets blurry, but it's all the mashups of all these characters. It's so dope. So if you see this in person, definitely check it out because uh, with that logo X on there, I love that. Um, I'm excited to read this. The Ultimates issue number three. This was another book I thought about dropping. It's only six issues, but uh, shout out to Mike the Spider Slayer. Shout out to a couple other people that read this book. They, uh, they gave it a 10 out of 10, A plus book. It was their top pick of the week. So I'm very excited to see where uh, the Ultimates kind of go. So this is the Ultimates issue number three. Couple, two more books, three more books. Uh, got this for cover by, just for Lady Eaters. Spider Society, uh, what is this? Enter the Spider-Versers. Dude, I'm so over Spider-Man and all the Spider-Verse and Edge of Spider-Verse. Besides like the Miles Morales movie and stuff and the animated, I'm out. I'm completely out. Uh, that was just a cover by. Moving on. Uh, wow. J. Scott Campbell, bro. Look at that magic. Speaking of X-Men, issue number two. I'm very excited to read this. Uh, Ryan Stegman. Art. Kills it. It's just a dope cover, dude. I'm gonna have a hard time picking cover of the week so uh let me know down in the comments if you guys agree with me and then finally 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 uh what are we on issue eight and uh i finally have a copy of this even though it's a uh, reprint foil whatever you want to call it nice man this is the only i think i'm missing this issue and issue four from the original secret wars run those are the only two i found the rest of the run in newsstand uh, i actually have the first uh the first issue triple signed by uh bd defalco and uh throwing a blank uh, bd defalco and shooter oh my god man i need to i've recorded three videos today it's probably the brain fog but i'm excited to finally have that and uh Maybe one day I'll definitely have the real one. So that's it. Let me know what your favorite was. I have a ton of reading. Big old stack. Make sure you guys check out the links. Check out ABX Comics and Games. Check out Superior Stand. And uh, just stay up to date with me on Instagram. There's a lot of fun things. A lot of things going on with the channel. A lot of new big opportunities coming up with me. So make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. Check out the playlist. I do appreciate you guys. Tons of content. And uh, I'll see you later this week. Stay legendary until then. And of course, I hope you guys always find what you're looking for.